you know what? Um, I know that the UK is only kind of really just hearing a little bit about me um, because I've only just kind of cracked UK, to, if you ask what you want to call it. Um, but I've obviously been um, pretty, I don't know, not known, I'd say, like in, in, the, in the USA um, because I've been working, uh, working on marketing myself over there. Um, and it all kind of came about because I went to the Wilder Fury fight right just randomly i literally booked my ticket from australia on friday and flew out saturday morning and then got saturday lunch anyways long story short um i met a friend a a friend there killian um he does all the art and he was like you know what because i said i want to fight in the uk i go i want to fight in the uk because i love the british fans I've always known the British boxing fans and really, really just British sport, sport fans are like just epic. I'm like, I want to get over there. And he goes, get on Twitter. He goes, you have to get on Twitter because, um, you know, it's the best thing for like, you know, like UK and, and USA and especially for boxing. And because I'm actually a big boxing fan myself, um, it's great for boxing chat, you know. So anyways, I'm like, all right, I'll, I'll get on Twitter because in Australia, like Twitter's not very big. And then... Obviously, because Killian, he's British. So, I mean, he was helped, like, you know, push me a little bit at the start. And, yeah, and then um, The Sun did a did an article on me in the, the, the Sun Herald or whatever you guys call it. Um, and then that kind of just kept blowing up from there. And, yeah, yeah now my, you know, my, um, now I feel like my biggest fan base is in the UK, which I absolutely love because they're the best. So, um, that's kind of how it happened. And it was like three months ago, whenever that Fury fight was. So, yeah, I mean... Yeah, you're... maybe my American fans are going to be a little jealous now because <laughs> I'm like I didn't come to the UK. <laughs> you know what it is? I've already, I've already fought in America, so they can wait. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to ask you a question now. I was going to ask later because the profile's gone up. Has anybody been in touch with you? Has Eddie been on the phone? Yeah. Oh, Eddie. No, not not. Did you say has Eddie? Eddie. Yeah. No, not Eddie, but um, someone else and um. Well, I was working on getting over there before the COVID thing um, in April, um, but that's all kind of on hold now. So I don't, I, I, I don't, I like things to be surprises. I don't like talking about things until they're happening. So um, yeah, you know, I've had people, I've had someone reach out, and uh, it's it's definitely in the works of me getting over there and um, and yeah, doing some stuff, some big things. But um, yeah, it's just a matter of being able to leave my country <laughs> and, uh, and there, you know. So. Could be handicapped with that at the minute. So would yeah, you say that I there's think... a fair chance you're coming? Sorry? Sorry, Ebony. Would you say there's a fair chance you'll be fighting in the UK soon? I, it depends on what you want to say soon, but I'll definitely be in the UK. Um, whether or not it's going to be for a fight or not, um, I'll definitely be there um, to come to to check out, you know, if there's any live fights. Um, I'll come there to do a little bit of a tour, like meet and greet. Um, I want to check out some of the gyms there. I'd like to stay there for a couple of weeks and train with some trainers over there and get some work in um, and just feel the vibe over there and, um, you know, work out. Because if I'm going to do fighting over there, um, I would plan to do my camp, a lot of my camps there. So I gotta um, prepare for that, um, and I'm the kind of person that's extremely organised. So personally, I'd like to come over there and check it out first, meet the people, you know, um, suss things out, and and go from there. I've never been to the UK, I've never been to Europe, so um, yeah, Marcus. I've got some fights lined up here that are hopefully going to happen pending COVID this year. Um, I've got a couple of um, fights in the in the pipeline, but I don't. Again, like I said, I don't announce anything until it's official. Um, so that's looking like that here. I think if I was to fight in the UK, it wouldn't be till beginning of next year. It depends, man, if they got a, an, an opponent for me as well and, I, and, a, and an opponent that's going to be worth my while coming over there to fight. Um, there's a lot of, you know what it's like, boxing, there's a lot of things. Like, I want to fight, but, you know, I, um, I do want to have a good fight and I want to fight that's going to obviously help um, my ratings and my profile um, and my experience as well. And, you know, as you know, in boxing, every fight's for a reason and you know you've got to be learning something like I don't I don't really just want to get wins on my record you know like if I'm if I'm going to win I want to win and gain something more from it than just a win you know it has to help me with my skills it has to help me with my ranking or whatever because you if timing was anything to go by Ebony you absolutely timed it perfect because I know there's not many Australian boxers 
there's even less women Australian boxers, but in the UK, women's boxing is probably riding the crest of a wave. Yeah. The time, they get into the British market, it's absolutely spot on. Yeah. Um, you know, everything happens for a reason. Um, like I said, um, you know, I booked that flight to go to the UK for that um, Fury. I was, I was in America for my fight. And I was contemplating staying in America for, um, I think there was a, I can't, I'm trying to remember, it was a Crawford fight. Or, oh, I think it was Crawford fight. And then there was a, uh, the Fury fight. But it was like an extra 10 or, or 12 days, two weeks pretty much. And, you know, our Aussie dollar is pretty bad. And I'm like, I can't really afford to be just staying for an extra two weeks, living expenses in America for, just for the Fury fight. So I came home. And I was sitting at home and I'm just like, like going to school and stuff, obviously, but like still, you know, in Australia and I'm like, man, I just have this urge. Like, I just need to go to that fight. I need to go to this Wilder Fury fight. I need to go there. Um, I'm just going to go, you know, and um, I'm like, yeah, I, I have had the opportunity. I have some people that can, that look after me with tickets and, and accommodation and stuff like that. Um, so I just booked my flight Friday night and flew out the next day. <laughs> See you, Australia. And I'm in, I was only in Vegas for three days and it, for me it's a 20 21 hour or 20 hour flight so I was flying longer than I was actually in Vegas right. um, but it, it happened for a reason because you know like I said you know I'm, um, I met up with Killian and I and I saw the British fans and I'm like I need this this is what I want I want these British fans and I I, I want to be you know they're just crazy and they're wild and they're like man I love it so um yeah and then COVID happened so then I was lucky enough to be able to build that kind of, you know, that relationship that I have, like, you know, online and um, give my time, you know, because I love a band and I love talking to people and fans and, and um, yeah, just everything happens for a reason, man. So it's just perfectly timed and, and I just, I see big things happening. So. Definitely. Can I, can I ask you about your fans, Ebony? Um, yeah. Of, you know, there's no hiding the fact you're, you're going to sell on two bases. There's one that you're boxing. Yeah. The fact that you're obviously an attractive woman. Yeah. How much... Uh, I hope nothing you're putting this Don't lightly. Don't <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right. How many perverts do you run online then? <laughs> you know what? This is what I figured out. This is what I reckon. Like how, this, is, this is how it works with me. Right. They come for the... And they, then they fall in love with the banter and then they see the boxing and they fall in love with that too. It's the whole package. You know what I mean? Um, I feel like what I, I mean, some come for the boxing as well. They see, you know, like I'm an aggressive fighter. Um, you know, my fight style is really exciting. Um, you know, you can't, you can't deny me of that. Um, and then you yeah, obviously, you know, I look all right. And um, yeah, that's just, that's what it is. Uh, I did a little poll and apparently they're most of them there for the pervs. But um, no, honestly, like, it doesn't matter because in the end, what I'm, what I want, and what I'm happy about is that it's, it's bringing attention to female boxing. It's bringing attention to the boxing. You know, like yeah, um, it might initially be for a certain reason, but if you if they follow me, which they do, my fans, they realise that I love a laugh. I'm down to earth. You know, I'm not. I actually am not like. I don't sit on Twitter and and load up bikini photos and and sexy photos all the time. I actually don't do that. You know, I just happen to weigh in in lingerie or I happen to have an all right face that that's hasn't taken too much of a beating yet. You know what I mean? Yeah. But um, it's not like I try and put myself out there doing a lot of kind of sexy poses or anything like that, really. It's just, um, it's yeah, I think it's a bit of a whole package thing. And I think when they realise that, hey, actually this, you know, she likes to have a laugh and I will have a laugh at all the gifts and the comments. Like, they're, they're, they're the, it's so funny. Like, and, um, and I think... I mean, it needs to be a little bit lighter these days. I think everyone's so, I don't know, people are going to, you know, there's going to be people that hate me for it, but people are so pre pretentious and so uptight and so, like, you can't joke and you can't, um, and it's, you know, you don't materialise and have respect for you, all this stuff. And, I mean, I put up a post recently, like, who gives, like, I don't really care about, like, I mean, of course I want to be respected for my boxing, but in the end I'm just going to be me. And, um if, they want to, if people want to respect me for my boxing, sweet. If they don't, then they obviously don't know boxing because they can't tell that I can box. Um, and whatever, you know. So, and it's good. And I love my fans. They're supportive. You know, there's no negative there. There's, no put, there's nothing that puts me down or, you know. Um, it's, all, it's all fun and banter, you know. And, and I love that. And to me, it's just compliments. It is. So, it's an entertainment industry as well, isn't it? Sorry? 
It's an entertainment industry as well. So if you're going to sell exactly. tickets for that. Exactly. And I know that especially, um, you know, UK is a little bit conservative, just like uh, Australia is a little bit conservative. Um, but you go to America and, man, their girls are wild over there. Like, you know, some of my friends in America, I'm just like, crazy like but it's so cool you know like you just be yourself and and i know that um say in, in with the uk when i first you know people started to get my name out in in the uk there's some people that are like oh you know she's just using her looks or you know blah 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 and i'm like well fuck if you had them you'd use them too like yeah. if you, but if you get to, if if you get to know me and you follow me you realize actually there's a lot more to me and if you don't and if you can't see that then i really don't give a fuck because who are you to me? Like, you know what I mean? I'm going to, I'm going to be the one that's going to be selling tickets to the weigh-ins and making money off weigh-ins. Yeah. Business, you know, like whatever, you know? So no, but seriously, um, whatever I've told, I've, I've made a joke online and I said, if you come into my weigh-ins, you have to come to my fights. None of this, you just kind of come to my weigh-ins. Okay. You can't, you can't be, you have to come to both. Okay, it's a two in one, but um, I'm going to put bums on seats. And I know that, you know, and it's, and whether or not it's initially for my, for my looks, because people want to see, you know, um, a Barbie looking girl fight, or if they want to see me get bashed, they're, they're dreaming, whatever it is, I know that they're going to, it's going to put bums on seats and they're going to see me and they're going to be impressed like everyone is. And they're going to stay for the boxing and they're going to be a fan for, for my boxing. Yeah. So. Last, last couple just on the whole looks thing, Ebony. Uh, yeah. First one, how much criticism do you get? Because in certain quarters, it will be seen as quite un-PC that you're, you know, quite overt with the fact that you're attractive and you've got a good figure. Do you get any... I don't... Do you get any... Thought, I don't know. I don't know what overt means. <laughs> All right, no, uh, um, you're quite obvious with it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, as in... Which, you know, like you say, I, you don't care what other people think, but you must get yeah. a lot of stick. Yeah, I don't get a lot. I don't get a lot. To be honest, I can probably count on, like, my hands about how much stick I get from it. I can probably name them as well, but I'm not going to name them. But I just look at it as, um, you know, um, I wouldn't say, like, a jealousy thing. I just think people are just trying to be morally right. But I, I think the thing that you have to understand is what's, what's right is that people should be allowed to be who they are and be themselves and not think, Oh, well, if I do that and, and I say that, then I'm going to get judged. Like why, what is so wrong with being confident in how you look? What is so bad about, about being okay and, and loving who you are and how you look? Why is why do girls or people in general have to be, no, I'm, you know, I'm not really hot. No, I'm not good looking. No, I'll just give me fucking compliments. Like, because you know what I mean? I don't, I don't need people to give me compliments, you know? Um, and I'm not going to sit there and pretend like I look like a smash crab on a rock. Cause I don't, you know what I mean? I'm not going to pretend that. Like, I'm not going to play. And it's not that I'm not humble. It's not that. And I'm not modest. It's, I'm not going to like, I'm not going to fucking, I'm going to use what I got. Like I'm a businesswoman. We're a businesswoman, it's entertainment, anyway. But honestly, like, and it's who I am. I, I'm proud. I've worked very hard for my, my body, you know, 10 years of bodybuilding. And I don't even walk around. You don't see me posting up bikini photos. The only photos you'll see of my skin is when I'm at weigh-ins. You will never see me in, like, like revealing myself a lot unless it's my weigh-ins. I'm a, like, I am a school teacher as well, you know, so I, I everything is very, is sport related. You know, you won't see just random photos of me. Um, what do the students think of it, Ebony? You teach all the kids, don't you? Yeah. Well, obviously they don't have Twitter. That's why I'm a little bit more open on Twitter. Yeah. Um, Australia is, firstly, Australia isn't big on Twitter. Secondly, the kids are definitely not on Twitter. So it is a little bit different. But um, yeah, the kids love it. You know, they follow me. Um, there's no problem in the schools with it because um, my Instagram and everything is, it's all, it's, it's, um, it's athlete. It's an athlete page. Um, it's all very professional in that sense. Um, you know, I'm still myself and I'm, you know, I'm never stopped being myself. The kids know who I am when I go to classroom. I'm exactly like this minus a lot of swearing, but I'm still, you know, this badass. And I still push, I still push the kids to, to try and, and be themselves and, and to, you know, put an effort. Cause in the end, like, you know, I like to motivate and I like to inspire and I want to, show people that hey it's okay to be a woman it's okay to be a proud woman it's okay to be proud of being feminine 
why do we why do we have to be tomboyish because we box? Why do we have to play down our our femininity or play down our looks because we're boxers or athletes? Why? What you know because this consensus is that we don't want to be materialized, but okay, I don't really care. Like whatever. Like if you want to materialize me, you can materialize me. Like whatever. I don't I don't care. Like, you know, it's, I just, I just think that I'm so beyond caring what people think. Um, that yeah, whatever. And I think it's a good thing. I don't think it's a bad thing. I think it's a good example to set to people, um, you know, that you should be yourself and, and not can be concerned. I'm not doing anything, you know, that's unmoral or, or anything like that. Yeah. You know, I'm not on Instagram and my legs spread open and, you know, with my boobs out doing, this you know what I mean I'm not doing I don't do that I don't even like do this like I don't pull sex faces like I'm just I'm always just smiling you know what I mean so I don't think what I'm I don't think there's you know and everyone wants to judge it then I feel then that's just them and they can but I I, I feel like as you get older and I'm the same where I used to be a little bit like oh you know why are they doing that oh they shouldn't do that like the you know the image and blah 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 but um as I've grown older and mature myself and, and in the sport as well, I realised that everyone's just each to their own and they've got to do what they want to do. They've got to be themselves, you know, like look at Fury. I think he gives a fuck what people think. <laughs> Dylan White, you know what I mean? Like everyone, why do you want to be boring? There's enough boring women out there, boring female boxers. Fucking hell, like they're all boring. You know what I mean? What? Except for... You just gave us the headline to the video. <laughs> huh? You've just given us the headline to the video. Oh, great. <laughs> don't, don't, because then they're all going to hate. But no, it's not that. I just mean, like, you know, all, I feel like all the girls are, I feel like they're all trying, they're all hiding who they are um, and being so quiet and down and saying whatever they think people want to hear. You know, in interviews, it's always the same things. Like, you know, you always, it's, it's like, really, do you really, is that what you really think? Is that who you really are? Like, I don't know, maybe they are. They're all the same. But they're all playing the same card. And I don't know. It's whatever. Maybe I'm just different in general. But I don't know. I, think, I, think I am. I think that's safe to say. <laughs> I am different. Yeah. Last one on the left, Ebony. <laughs> An obvious question. Yeah. Are you not frightened of, you know, one fight your nose gets put out of place? or? Cause... Sorry? Are you not frightened that in one fight your nose gets put out of place or you get an injury that you can't uh, wear? If I was worried about my looks, I wouldn't be boxing. Right. If I was worried about that, mate, my opponents have to worry about that because I'm the one that throws the bombs and smashes their faces up. Uh, my face doesn't get hit. There we go. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm not worried. I, I know. I'm really not worried because if I, do the, I don't think the guy's going to think, oh, what happens if my nose breaks? Like, fuck. I love boxing. I love punching people in the face. I love, I don't even, I don't even think about my, my looks in that sense. Like, you know what I mean? I don't care. I don't actually care about my looks. I'm just, I'm blessed. You know, I'm lucky that I have two good parents that ended up giving me some good genes. You know what I mean? But I don't really care um, at all. I can go get a nose job. Plus I want to get a nose job later after boxing, maybe make it a bit thinner. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Right. Maybe, maybe, maybe if I get punched in the nose, I can claim it on, some kind of like health, health thing. <laughs> you probably it will not take long. Um, yeah. The boxing itself, your debut, a little bit of a story yeah. that we read. Did you break your ankle in your debut? I, I snapped my, well, I snapped my ligaments that hold my bones together. Right. It, or in what round? So, How long did you box on with a broken ankle? In a, I, I boxed three rounds. I broke it in the first 10 seconds of the fight. What do you know? Yeah. And what happened was, just to give you an explanation, so you've got these two bones in your ankle, right? In your, yeah. in your, in your, so it's like this, these two bones. And there's a ligament, it's called the syndemosis, and it holds your bones together to stop your bones from going like this when you take a step. And I completely ruptured that ligament. So every time I took a step, my tibia and my fibula were doing this. They were separating every time I took a step. And my surgeon said, I don't even know how you stood on that foot, let alone fought on that foot for another, you know, six minutes or whatever it was. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, it was pretty intense. And I was out for a long time for that, unfortunately. I wish it was just a break, like a bone break, because it probably would have only put me out for six weeks. Yeah. Because you fought four times in the last 
Was it your last fight was in February and you'd fought four times, hadn't you? Yeah, so I fought in February. I fought, so I debuted on February in February 8th in 2019. Then I didn't have another fight for another eight months. I fought October, November, and February. And two knockout wins? Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, two, yeah, two knockout rings. I didn't knock out the, the last girl. She was tough. She was a really solid opponent. We picked, we, we picked her because she was very durable and she'd had a lot of experience. Been boxing for like 20 years. Um, she fought nine world champions and never been stopped by them. So um, that's what we wanted because I hadn't gone past three rounds. <laughs> you yeah. know? And I've heard I needed you I need one. time. Sorry, Evan. I heard you say that you want bigger tests now because you can't always get that in Australia. So what's the limit for you? Where are you aiming at? I want to be a world champion. Is that what you mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I want to be a world champion. But I want to, I want to, I want to knock him out. And I know that I have the power to do it. Um, I know that I do. Everyone that holds, you know, all the coaches here and in America that have held pads for me, you know, they, they know that I can. It's just a matter of getting the experience and learning how to settle down on my punches, um, which takes time because um, I just like to fucking punch on. And the problem with that is that I tend to rush, you know, because I'm like, oh, I just want to fucking kill her. You know, but um, I'm I'm learning, I'm learning, and um, every fight I'm getting slower and and, and better, you know, and um, it's just going to come down to experience and setting it up. Um, and I think I'm going to yeah really shock shock the the division with being able to do those knockouts. So that's what I hope. Um, and I want to fight globally. You know, like you like I said, I, I want to fight in the UK. I'm I'm not one of these fighters that just want to stay at home and fight here. I want to I want to be a global name. Um, you know, I don't have to be huge. I'm not fussed to be huge, you know. Um, but I just want to – I love my fans and I want to be a fighter that gets remembered for having good fights, like, a, you know, like a Gaddy or, you know, like th those kind of fighters that, you know, you know that you, no matter what, win or lose, they're going to come out firing and you're going to come out fighting. And that's the style that I have and that's the heart that I have, that no matter what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fight hard, you know. And it's going to be an exciting fight no matter what. So yeah. and I don't have – I don't have super, super long in the sport. I'm not a young 20 year old, you know what I mean? So I don't want to be, I'm not, I'm not keen on wasting my time building up, taking easy fights or, or whatever um, to, to get somewhere. Um, I, Cause I just want to fight. I just love fighting. I, I love punching on. And when it's not a good, when it's not a hard fight, it's, it doesn't satisfy me inside, you know? So um, that's where I'm at. But at the same time, you have to be smart and I have to learn that I still have only had four fights and I, you know, not about to go throw myself in a big deep end. Yeah, it, and yet strangely, women's boxing, you move quite quickly, don't you? Because obviously... It's yeah. Well, you know, um, it's, it's a good thing about women's boxing is that we do move quickly um, because there's, there's not as much competition, you know? So it's a, it's a bonus for me at my age. Um, but yeah, so it's going to be good. It is. You're bantamweight, aren't you? Yeah, I'm bantam. I'm super fly to bantam, yeah. So the fight everybody would be talking about in the UK would I know I think there's a weight division between you would be Shannon Courtney. Yeah, yeah, everyone's talking about that fight. <laughs> you must get sick of it. Thank but... God about it for a while. Fuck no, I was sick of hearing a name. <laughs> um yeah, yeah, everyone's talking about that fight. She's um yeah, she's a weight class heavier. Um, which doesn't bother me. I mean everyone that I spar is twenty pound, thirty pound heavier than me anyways. Not many people I spar my size. I'm very, you know, like I said, I'm pretty strong for my weight. So um, I fought at featherweight and knocked a girl out in the second round. So, I mean, I, I don't want to fight that heavy because it's like a walk around weight for me and I feel a lot better, lighter. Yeah. Um, you know, so it just depends. It'd be good if she could come down to Bantam if we would ever fight. But if not, I had no dramas at all. She might find me at, at, knowing that I do fight at, Super, at, at Bantam anyways. Possibly. It would be the yeah, money might, fight, wouldn't it? When we might, might, might be just a bit more of a, you know, an edge. Oh, she's lighter than me, so yeah. <laughs> um, it would be a good money fight. Yeah, I think so. I think it's a fight that the fans are going to love, you know. Um, I'm an aggressive go for, you know, aggressive push-up fighter. Um, I know she likes to go on the back foot a little bit and, and that, but she's she throws, lets off her hands and lets her hands go. And um, yeah, I'm really excited actually to see her next fight. So that would be a good, good test for her um, and then go from there. But I don't really mind, you know. I just want to fight in the UK. I don't care who it's. I, I mean, I'm not going to come over just to fight someone that's going to fall over in front of me because I'm not wasting my time. Yeah. But I would like, 
you know, I'm happy to come over for a tough fight, a good fight, you know. I think it's safe to say a lot of the fans would be welcoming you, Ebony, if, uh, if the Twitter interactions are anything to go by. I know. You know what the coolest thing is? Um, that, you know, I have my merchandise <clears throat> and it's from the US. And um, all my sales, like 80% of my sales are from the UK. Like, uh, okay. like British box buying my merch. I mean, like 70, it was maybe 70%. There's Americans as well and a little bit in Australia. But yeah, majority is British. They're, they're, they're the best. Like, uh, you know, they got my heart as well. We have. Uh, <laughs> so you want to be world champion, Ebony? Yeah. What's prediction? When do you think you'll achieve that? Or when, when would you hope to be fighting at least for a world belt? Oh, man. Forward at the minute, but... Yeah, it's hard. Well, there was, there was, there was something that came, came up that could make it pretty soon. Um, but again, like I said, it's pending COVID. Um, there's an opportunity that I've um, said yes to and hopefully I can announce it. Um, but if not, um, I don't know, you know, within the next year or two, I need to... Um, you know, work my work. Obviously, I'd like to get like an, an international belt or work my way up there. Um, but there is a vacant belt at the moment, so that makes the path a lot faster and easier. Um, but yeah, it just depends. I but I don't think I'd like to be at least in the two in within two years. You know, it would have been good to be boxing all of this year and have a shot ne at the end of next year. But yeah, I mean, the world champions. Um, in a division, like I like my idols, you know, and I would just love to share the ring with them. So just for me to share the ring with them would be, in, 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 would be amazing. Um, so, yeah. Quality, fingers crossed. Semi-exclusive then, that it might happen soon. Might. <laughs> Stay tuned. Stay tuned. No. Uh, last one, Ebony. Obviously, um, it shouldn't surprise people, but you're a proper boxing aficionado, aren't you? Like you yeah, probably, as in... You uh, probably know uh, your stuff. Uh, sorry? You probably know your stuff, don't you? Oh, you know, not bad for a blonde. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted you to give us a couple of minutes, your favourite British fighters. Because um, I know you've been yep. on the Mexicans, and I've heard you talk about the Mexicans before, but I, who's your favourite yeah. British? But I'm a big fan of all fighters. But I just, I suppose, I think the reason I tend to go towards the Mexican is because I watch them and that's my style. So, you know. Um, but yeah, British fighters, Nigel Benn. Um, He lives around the corner from me too. So maybe it's a bit of a, like, a biased thing because he's like, uh, like I'm really good friends with his daughter. Um, but no, I do love Nigel Benn. He's a legend. Um, and Ricky Hatton. Yeah. I've watched him. Yeah. Um, Lennox Lewis. Yeah. Um, they'd have to be my top three, I'd say. Um, who would you think your style's closest to, Ricky? Yeah, Ricky Hatton. <laughs> Definitely Ricky Hatton. Um, I mean, I could get a little, like, you know, I, I think I've got that crazy psycho side that Nigel Benn has. Um, but I'm definitely no Chris Lennox Lewis, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, um, yeah, no, definitely. There. I'm a big fan, um, and I just like to point out also that I am a big fan of um, some of the, you know, the newbies, the not so old school boxers, um, like Josh Taylor. Big fan of Josh Taylor, yeah. um, and Joe Cordina. I really love Joe Cordina's style, um, and obviously, um, I'd love to see Conor Ben do his thing. Yeah, three, three newbies there, three good lads as well. Yeah, good, 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 really good lads. Brilliant. I'll let let you end with a message. Ebony ah. from the UK, I'll stick this, obviously we'll cut this down and I'll put this out on the Twitter page initially, but just a message to your UK fans. Uh, besides that, I love you all. <laughs> Honestly, you guys are the best. Um, I, I, I do love my British um, fans, my UK fans, and, um, you know, keep supporting me. Um, it's your love that really um, motivates me to really push really hard to get over to the UK as soon as possible. Um, you know, and when I come over there and fight, you know, I'm going to be having some uh, celebrations with, with you guys. Um, definitely, I will, if I fight over there, which I will be fighting, and we have an after party, everyone's got to come because, you know, it's you guys that, it's you guys that are helping me, you know, get, get over there. So I really appreciate the love, and I love you all back, you legends. You'll live to regret that one, man. <laughs> no, nah, I might backdoor it, though. Hey, I'm just going to go to the toilet. <laughs> Jokes, I, I'll... I'll 
I might be able to last a couple of hours. Let's see how we go. <laughs> right, I'm right. Ebony, it's been an absolute joy to talk to you. Awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate your time as well. And this was really cool. You're very welcome. You take care. Yeah, you too, Legend. Thank Hopefully you. I see you as well. All right. All the best. Thanks.